What's up guys, I'm Matt Reisinger. Steve Azek, architect. And Steve is, I would consider, the original US inventor of European windows, right? When I met Steve, I don't know, four or five years ago, Steve had these European windows on a job site and it blew my mind looking at the numbers. I mean, these are triple glaze with U factors of like, you know, 0.15, something like that. And uh, he's got a local dealer called EAS uh, that imports them from Europe. Uh, ships all over the U.S. I've even used some on some houses I've built in Texas. But there's some details that need to be tear that need to be kind of cared for on the inside, and that's specifically what this video is about today. Steve and I are going to show you some details on this house that he designed that's going to trim out and make some really nice modern reveals on a European window. And I think you could take some of this, uh, including this fry rug that we're going to show you, and apply this to standard windows as well. Today's build show all about window reveals. Let's get going. Build show friends, guess what? Exciting news. We're in the planning stages for a 2024 Build Show Live, our very first trade show conference event. I could really use your help though. Would you take this survey below? It'll take five or 10 minutes of your time, that's it. You could win a gift card, some passes to the show, some Build Show hats, and it would really help my team and I figure out the planning. Five to 10 minutes of your time, and it'll really help me out. All right, Steve, talk to me about what you've got going on here. So, European window, triple glazed. We source these through European Architectural Supply. They're fabricated in Slovakia. They're a Shuko window. But that means the components are made by Shuko. Okay. Not that Shuko, Shuko doesn't make um, windows. Shuko makes parts of windows. People always say, where do I buy a Shuko window? Where's Shuko located? Shuko doesn't make it. They make components and they sell them to people to fabricate their windows. Got it. So these are fabricated in Slovakia. They're brought out here. This one is a fixed unit with a tilt turn version um, adjacent to it. The Very beauty nice. of them is they're made to order, mm -hmm. so I can pick whatever size I want, whatever combination of systems I want, fixed, tilt, tilt only, um, tilt turn, whatever. And they'll just make it to order as long as it can fit in the container to get over here. Now, Steve, these windows are super efficient, uh, but they do have a couple of difficulties, including a strap install. I'm gonna use my fry regulate as a pointer here, but. Uh, you've seen these in a lot of our videos now. They have some straps. Steve's got a couple of great videos on how to bend the straps, how to install the windows. But I want to focus on this video, Steve, specifically on how you trim the inside yep. and what you're doing for uh, both trim and drywall reveals. Yeah, and the, the beauty of being available at this job to talk about that is these guys do it damn near perfect. Mm -hmm. um, Howell Custom Building Group the uh, builders on this and their attention to detail is just like you learn something when you watch them work. I agree. I'm learning right now. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you can see Kurt, who's the project manager here. He takes it upon himself to ensure that the reveal is exactly the same all the way around the window Yep. and things are plumb that this is a 90 degree angle. Mm -hmm. So you'll see somewhere, I think it was on that side where this was actually shimmed out a little yep. so that you can make that perfect 90. Um, he's not afraid to take some of this. He'll take this and plane it down to make sure that we're getting in there. So let me back up just a hair. The window straps are actually what's holding the window structurally. There's no flange on these windows. And then he's taping between the jam and the window itself. And that's been covered in some other spots, but you can still see it here. He's using some uh, European tapes. Uh, this happens to be Sega tape here. So it's gonna provide both air tightness and water tightness. There's a back dam on the bottom sill as well. And you can see this is where the tape is actually sticking to the aluminum. And then he's gonna be using this, uh, I think it's just called a J molding by Fry Regulate. Yeah. This is an aluminum, uh, real heavy duty. You're not gonna, you're not gonna bend that. It's nice because it starts straight and it ends straight. And he's using this as a drywall uh, return, basically. So my assumption is we've got a slightly more modern look on these windows. Drywall return on the sides, and then we can do whatever we want for a wood yeah, sill. Yeah, typically do a wood sill with a little apron underneath there, and it will do a drywall return around the remaining three sides. 
But what I really like about what Hal did is he shimmed out uh, with some leftover zip, with some, uh, you know, whatever uh, woods that he had available to shim. And he's mostly solid blocking in between these straps. If you look, there's maybe an inch or so showing. And I suspect he's not done yet. I bet where these straps are sticking past the interior framing, he's probably going to nick Yeah, that. he's got to grind those off and, grind that off. you know, hopefully just hit that with a little piece of tape on the end there. Yep. Beautiful install. He's also, where that um, back dam was, he's put a piece of wood in there that's the same height as the back dam. So now when the finished carpenter later, which in this case from house crew, maybe the same carpenter now, yep. uh, comes to put that in, you're good to go. I do want to mention that it's unusual to see finished carpenters on the rough uh, carpentry side of construction, but yeah. we often have them on the job to install pocket doors, sometimes exterior doors. No reason why you couldn't get your finished carpenters to come and do this yeah. as well, because they're setting themselves up for future success when they come and trim the window. I mean, Howell has their, their project manager on site. They're usually very talented guys. You met Brian when we did the barn yeah. in the house. That's he's, right. he's Kurt's counterpart. And Kurt's down here. So Kurt, during the day, he does his paperwork and stuff in the morning. Then in the afternoon, he comes out and he does all of these checks and balances and, and cleans things up and gets it ready for perfection. Beautiful work. I'll put a link uh, to this fry detail in the website. Uh, we'll put a link to EAS if you're interested in talking to them about some uh, Shuko windows or other European windows that EAS sells. Uh, what else did I miss, Dave? Um, nothing, man. I mean, we could probably talk all day at this house. There's <laughs> yes, so much could. to talk about. But. So much more. But you know what? Steve has a ton of other great videos from this house, yeah. including an incredibly cool foundation uh, from ICF. He's got all kinds of neat stuff. And Steve is shooting videos every single week over on buildshownetwork.com, including showing you the only architect I've ever seen who takes you back to the drawing board and shows you the details and how he came up with them so that you, or if you're a young architect watching this, can actually understand the mind of a wise architect who's been around on the jobs for a while and understands how to detail it so that builders like me in the job site can actually do things at a much higher level because that drawing is correct and we understand how to do it. There's no, uh, there's no scratching our heads on the job site. Steve's got all those details. I just actually had an online uh, conversation with a gentleman who owns an architecture firm in like Jersey or something. He's only got like four or five employees, but he makes all his younger employees watch every, every video. weekly video. <laughs> I love it. Because it is a good way to learn. I'm not saying it because I did it. I'm just saying I make my kids watch it because I sit there, I go through the details. You understand why this is in there. Why is there a back dam? What I is it doing? It. And you know, these are things that you don't learn. That's right. I mean, I learned it 30 years of coming out here and thinking about something. Yeah, that worked, but we probably could have done it better. Oh, we could do it this. Go back to the drawing board, improve it a little. I mean, the detail that we used on here, this is the first time I've ever used this window installed. Even. How about that? Love it. Right. 30 yeah. years of evolution. And, and you nailed it. And we're here. Absolutely beautiful. So. I'll put a link in the description to sign up for our newsletter so that <clears throat> once a week, actually twice a week, Tuesdays and Fridays, you'll get an email from my team that will say, hey, here's Steve's new video to watch uh, out on buildshownetwork.com. And by the way, check out his Build Show Build Boston series. He's chronicling the entire build, including all the architectural design. Start to move in on the homeowner on episode eight right now. That's over on YouTube and on buildshownetwork.com. Steve, how about we do the outro? Are you ready? You, I'm up. Follow us on TikTok or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on the Build Show. Build Show.